Delaware is behind the UD women's basketball team in a big way. All you have to do is check the attendance numbers. 5,089 fans set a women's basketball record for attendance at the Bob Carpenter Center during a December game against the University of Maryland. And average attendance is just shy of 3,300. Our fans are phenomenal and um, as we started to win more games last season you really start, started to see this place fill up and it's been incredible and you know they, they pack the bob for us and it's like we have a six man when we're playing on our home floor. I think it's really cool especially I think I noticed the most when we're away there are like a, a many people that travel to our away games and we like flew out to New Hampshire flew out and there were like 10, 12 people there that are from home. And it's just great having that support behind you every game. The Hens are poised to make a follow-up run to last year's appearance in the NCAA tournament as a three seed where they won a first round game before getting upset in the second round by 11th seeded Kansas. This year, the first two rounds of the tournament would be in Newark, playing in front of that hometown crowd. Yes, we want to be here in March. Yes, we want to be playing in front of our home crowd. That would be a dream come true for the players and for this coaching staff. But there is a whole lot of work to be done before that can become a reality. The process of making that dream a reality nearly crumbled at the start of the season when Elena Deladon suffered a flare-up of Lyme's disease that limited her ability to practice and play. I thought I was going to be fine going into this season and then it just flared up. So. It's kind of a thing where you never know what's going to happen, but I think I've turned the corner. I've been getting a lot better and I've been responding a lot better after games. Um, before, I wasn't responding at all and I was basically bedridden, so I'm doing far better. I think at first, not having her play kind of put a, a, um, a slippery slope, if you will, to our team because we weren't kind of expecting it and um, we, scram we scrambled. Um, and now that it's happened, um, certainly I think we'll be more prepared if it happens again. We don't want it to happen again, um, but you know, certainly um, it was a lesson learned by everybody and uh, now we just want to keep everybody healthy. Even University of Maryland coach Brenda Fries acknowledged how Deladon's presence lifts the rest of the team. Their energy in the first half was much different than what I had seen on film um, with her in the lineup and um, they're top 25 team no question uh, with her on the floor. We had a, some things that threw us off a little with Elena getting sick and we didn't win the games that we thought we should have but I feel like now we're coming together more we're working more as a team and we're learning how to um, work together to win. That learning process continues with a team trying to make one last push led by one of the best basketball players Delaware has ever seen. The story of Deladon's decision to walk away from the top program in the country at the University of Connecticut has been well told. Deladon, we've heard so much about this young lady. But after just two days, she left the school. But her decision to return to the basketball court after a brief detour to volleyball at UD has certainly made a huge impact on the program. Elena making that decision four years ago certainly helped the program because she was the highest profile athlete in the state of Delaware um, to ever come out of our state. And then to decide to play at the University of Delaware certainly brought some notoriety. But I really honestly believe it's been the team that has been able to play together. Deladon's star continues to rise, and the highest profile athlete in Delaware has her sights set on the next level. Immediately after um, college basketball is over, the draft is pretty much like a week after um, the Final Four games. So hopefully I'll be at that draft getting drafted to some team and then I'll be flying out to that city and um, playing for a WNBA team. And she's confident the health struggles that slowed her start to the season will soon be a thing of the past. I do for probably a couple more years, but who knows, my doctor and I are both very hopeful and um, she's been having me on incredible treatments that have restored my health. So I believe in her and I believe that I'll be healthy. But for now, Deladon and the team are focused on continuing their winning ways in the CAA conference and making a return trip to the NCAA tournament. This is a new year, new slate. We have to work again and pretend like we never even made it so we'll get even further and that's more motivation for us to go further in the tournament. I'd like to finish it in the right way. I hope the rest of the team wants to finish it in the right way. But again, that's going to take effort and that's going to take sacrifice by some of these kids and, and hopefully they're willing to do that.